Kyle, you're the guy they say may sneak into the bottom of the first. When you had your pro day, and I saw bits, I saw clips of it. You wanted to prove something to people. Tell tell my audience what you wanted to prove because 31 of 32 teams were there. What did you want to prove in your pro day? Yeah, I mean personally, I knew people were probably viewing me as a a quarterback that you know isn't very athletic and you know can't move around. You know, and doesn't have a strong arm and all that, what they ever have to say. But, um, yeah, like you said, I wanted to prove that um, I'm athletic within the pocket. I can burst out of there and still be accurate and throw with consistency um, and just basically show that, you know, I can make all the throws on the field at, you know, any given you know, body position. Now, Kyle, by the time you ended your season until the pro day, where did you train? I was out in Irvine, California, working with 3D QB with uh, – so we had a solid group. Um, you know, our coach was, you know, John Beck. Um, and he's been at all of our pro days, me, Zach Wilson, um, Justin Fields, KJ Costello. So we had a great group, you know, very competitive group of guys. And I think it really helped us. You, do you, do you feel like a quarterback's arm can get stronger, even at your age? How can it get stronger the next five years? Oh, absolutely. Uh, I mean, our bodies are still very young and are still, um, you know, very susceptible to growth as long as you, um, you know, people our age can keep working out and keep, um, you know, getting that arm speed faster. So I believe, you know, your arm strength can, especially at our age, you know, like I said, continue to get better and um, progress as you, you move along. By the way, uh, Dan Mullen at Florida, you, you played with Kyle Pitts. We, I think Kyle Pitts, the best tight end prospect I've ever seen in my life. When was the first time you played with Kyle Pitts? Maybe it was practice, and that you just went, "Oh Lord, I've never." <laughs> when was the first time you ever played with him ever? Yeah, so I mean, he came in as a freshman. Uh, I mean, I believe it was about three years ago. But you know, like you said, that that moment where you really like you, you know you have something special was whenever he was playing uh, coming in the game as a true freshman. Um, I think like one of his first catches I was watching versus Mississippi State and he had someone draped all over him and he just had such strong hands and grabbed it out of the air. And I was like, I mean, you, we truly have something special here. Just, you know, once he gets that development process going and uh, he's blossomed into like he's just like you said, the best you know tight end prospect we've ever seen. Do you think there is a team, Kyle, that you're thinking to yourself, I think they like me? If you looked at a couple teams, you think maybe I could fall to them. Um, you know, yeah, the projections have me going potentially high first round, second. Um, so that's open to a wide number of teams. Right. And just like you know how crazy the draft can get, I'm I'm just trying to keep an open mind, um, be an open book, and just I'll be ready to go compete wherever I go. Is there who was your favorite team growing up? So I'm a big Houston guy, so I was a big Texans fan growing up. Wow. So you're the one. <laughs> There's not many of those. So, by the way, um, you don't have a, a great West Coast background. What if you got shipped off to the West Coast? Hey, like I said, I'm, I'd be open to anything. Um, I'm just happy to be in the position that I'm in, and I'm going to go take advantage of whatever opportunity gets put on my plate. Now, where will you be on draft day or draft weekend? Where are you going to be? Folks' house? Where are you going to be? Yep, I'll be uh, back home in Manville, Texas. Manville, where, where's Manville, Texas? It's about twenty minutes south of Houston. Okay, um, you know, my hometown with the family, so I thought that was the best way to do it. Yeah, Kyle, good luck to you, the Gators, and your family, and thanks for coming on. Absolutely, thanks for having me. Hi, everybody! Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from the herd, or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.